what is your first impression? Yeah, what's the impression? Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the current process, how they are evaluating the diamonds. Now the time has come to say goodbye. I'm going to leave for the longest time now, uh, since we have been to the US. Tomorrow I'm going to Dubai with Michael and uh, some other friends of mine. And I will be returning end of next week. Yeah, we are going to shoot a lot of content. Now I need to pack everything. I already selected, just to give you a, s a sneak preview, because on Michael's channel we are going to record some other videos. I put really a lot of effort in layering duos. Michael wanted to do a video about fragrances you can mix. And let me tell you, I have brought together some amazing matches you won't believe. So this will be a very nice video. And of course we need to cover the topic of oud, but you will be amazed what you can do. Maybe also with fragrances you uh, already have at home. And uh, ha, you need to wait, you need to wait. Listen da, listen da. You go here, go here. A few moments later. This is the sad part. We are ready now for departure, just um, five minutes left and then I'm going to leave. And this time it will be long, I mean... Uh, tomorrow is Thursday and I'm coming back on Saturday next week. The good thing is we got the confirmation for Amouage. Uh, we will shoot a lot of very interesting content, uh, but I'm going to miss Malika very much. It's very nice. When I'm here, then sometimes you get annoyed. Obviously, every parent will agree uh, that you have this phase. But if you are gone, then I'm just missing her. And in, in one week or 10 days, a lot of things are going to happen. Mm. I've just landed now in uh, LA. Look at this screen wow Richard Miller is doing it right everything went well I got my upgrades Michael is also here hi <laughs> and Adam down there Patrick will, our camera team will join us in Dubai I have to say the chemistry between them two is the funniest so we try to capture the discussions they have <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's large ones. No, they, so they have to use motors this big purely to lift all of Michael's clothes. <laughs> How many luggages you have? Just one. Just one, yeah. yeah. Just one. It's like one of those uh, Russian dolls. <laughs> Just keeps unpacking new bags out of it. We made it. And there are some changes here in the first class. I think they just did a touch up on this flight. I mean, all the wood changed. You remember from all the other videos? Here we had some other wood. This is pretty much the same. Hoppala. We just did. I mean, it all looks kind of renewed. Also, the leather here is changed. We are on our plane now and it literally takes 16 hours. This is the longest flight I've ever did. Um, and for the following days, we have a lot of nice content. We will start this evening hopefully with a nice dinner uh, when we are going to arrive. And then we have Amouage and we have Vidyan. And also Michael has some other plans, so we try to join him as much as possible and as much as he likes. And I try to capture the, the wild energy between <laughs> <laughs> him and Adam, it's, it's the funniest you have ever seen. Yeah, what can I say? I'm looking forward now for the trip. Besides that, Germany, nothing much changed. We are looking for some new places. We are going to open a physical shop. I already told this to my Twitch chat. We have some plans for two cities in mind and uh, looking for stores. So if you have a good place in Munich or in Stuttgart, then let me know. We are looking to open the same kind of concept stop, what we, a store, what we have in Düsseldorf. So we need around 200 square meter in a good position, not in the best place. I mean, the rent should be not expensive. <laughs> As you probably know, I'm always transparent and we have some options in Munich right now. And they're reasonable, affordable, because everyone is more or less leaving. I, I mean, you you guys uh, see it in the center of the city. It just, no one's opening any shops at the moment, but we want to do, we have the proof of concept. So Munich and Stuttgart, these are the two places where we want to open right now. If you know some 
someone or if you have a good place for rent then hit us up and hopefully we can start the projects this year and maybe we also can open one and let's see maybe we are coming to your city and let me know in the comments if these two places are good or if you would suggest other ones and for the watch for today what are we wearing for this trip i'm wearing the fp Jean. this the octaloon in platinum one of the more intellectual watches it's not easy to understand if you see rolex it's easy but this watch because we're also meeting up with some important people this shows that you are in the watch market and you're not there to flex it's kind of an undercover flex but if you have to do with if you are in contact with the watch guys then this is the watch you should wear Tada, here we are, just approaching Dubai after 16 hours, 15, 15 and a half hours. I, I slept the whole, let's say I, was stay, I stayed awake for four hours, then I slept the whole time. And now when we are arriving, it's already evening time. So what can I expect? Normal people would say they cannot sleep at night. I'm pretty sure I won't, I can go to bed right now. Second possibility is I will lay in bed and stay up all night enjoying social media. But first, let's go to the hotel. Uh, this time, nothing fancy. We just uh, for the first days we stay in Hilton Hotel. I've never been there, but American Express has a special offer, and um, yeah, stay there for until Sunday, and then let's see. Michael's in Atlantis. For me, normally I want to go to Burj, but like I said, uh, it's more convenient if we stay in one hotel. Atlantis so far. Atlantis so far. Let's see. The humidity outside. I remember in 2020, I was at that time one time in Dubai and you cannot go outside. Now I'm back. What is my mental state right now? I'm ready to go, I would say. I have a slight headache, maybe, but nothing major. We'll go now out for dinner, I hope, to Bush Khalifa or so with some friends. Michael's in the hotel, probably he will take a respite because he didn't sleep uh, a lot. And the plans for the week are all ready and uh, we need to go. We need to go now. We just arrived in the Dubai Mall and they have a completely new section. Here we are in Chinatown. Look at it. Wow, this is a huge... They must have just built it new. Amazing place. If you come here, always there's something new. The weather looks fine, but if you go outside, humidity will kill you. Which fragrance are we going to use? First of it must be Arabic inspired from 2022. It was the best release, in my opinion, during this year. Miami South Beach. This one contains oud, some boozy notes, and I tell you, it's a beautiful fragrance. Michael. Hi! <laughs> Hi! What are you doing here? Sweating. <laughs> it's very hot. So for you it's the first time? First time in Dubai, yeah. And uh, Dubai. what brings you here? You. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to look at Dubai. Considering buying a property here. Bingati make uh, some amazing properties. Jacob & Co has a uh, tower that's being built. So I suppose I should buy one. Yeah. So you will show the audience some of the construction sites and yeah. what they're doing. Nice. Yeah. So uh, it, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. For, for how long are you staying? Same as you. We flew on the same plane. We're flying back on the same plane. <laughs> Tell these people. So what? I mean, the flight for me it was quite comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh, it, it, the, the, the flight time was 16 hours, but it just passed by very quickly. It felt like 15 hours. <laughs> Our Emirates took great care of us, like always. They had a shower, shower I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. And you go to sleep in a divan bed, it's like your yeah. little suite, it's very nice. And very fortunate. Uh, yeah, today we are walking around a little bit, let's see, and then on your channel we are going to show the audience a lot of perfume, watches, you have some appointments with diamonds and cars. Very interesting trip. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun and you'll be there with us. Great. So make sure you watch both of us. Yeah, this video will be aired prior to your videos because we will cover just behind the scenes and we will shoot. So you need, you need to subscribe to his channel if you want to see everything because I tell you I brought around 25 fragrances in total, not all for this video, but we will do some special layering. And for all you fragrance lovers out there, I spent 
days to find matching pairs of something you have never known. So if you have the basic collection of fragrances, then you should really pay attention to because we have brought to you some completely new configurations. And you're going to teach me everything about it? Yes. Because I know nothing. I know what smells nice. Yeah. And I know what doesn't. <laughs> we will also cover wood. We will, we will see some very expensive wood. Can't wait. It's exciting. Yeah. And the watch, this one we can also... This was your limited edition. It still is. It's still available. Yes. But this one is probably the most expensive configuration. Yes, this is very expensive. So here we have the Epic X skeleton. It's not a tourbillon. It's um, a regular skeleton. You see the balance wheel at 6 o'clock. And it has the distinctive rainbow bezel. Which is actually going to be changed on this one. Uh, Jacob has made for me a uh, sapphire, sapphire mm. rainbow bezel, which is going to be exchanged at the end of the month. And if you pay really close attention, you will see that the watch hands are drumsticks. Yes, and if you turn it over, you'll find my signature in the glass on the back. Ah, producer Michael. Very Isn't nice. That fun? Very great watch, baguette bezel, and massive gold bracelet. Heavy, what, right? What is the price on this one? I, I think with the sapphire bezel, it will be 280,000. Okay. Like, ah, that's crazy, right? <laughs> uh, but you can also get the DLC version, the yeah. black version, on a rubber strap, which is amazing. I have a black one uh, that I just put a white strap on. Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic, and they're in their mid 20s. Yeah, for, so, we, we spoke about it, I think, on Twitch. For mid 20, you get a skeletonized watch. Yes. Also, it's very individual. Not a lot of people, if you compare it, let's say you wear a Daytona, you see probably a lot of people. If you compare it to a skeleton Jacob, it will you be... You get a lot more comments on for sure. the Jacob. Everybody says, wow, what is that? Because yeah, it looks sure. so pretty. Yeah, so check out their website as well. Producer Michael Watch. <laughs> now we are here. For him, it's now the first time. <laughs> no, I am <laughs> melting. <laughs> it's 3,260 degrees Celsius. And what, I mean, scenery is this? My shoes are melting. <laughs> scenery is different. Than Very different. What we, what Mark, we saw in the where past. are you taking me? Now we're going to see some watch dealers. Uh, the ones who subscribe to the channel already know. Yeah, we are here in the original Gold Souk. So you will see here a lot of watches. Everyone is selling quickly. Just one cash. So this is it all about. How far do we have to walk? Here, left side, we are there. Okay, good. Yeah. Guys, you have no idea how hot it is. This is just in your mind. You can stop thinking My about that. My phone stopped working. It says it's too hot. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy piece, huh? What do you think about the... This is an interesting question. What do you think about the new... RM, this one also worn by men. I, I think it's ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. You, you want one? No. I think he wants one. <laughs> this one's nice. Right? This one's really nice. RM35 with factory set to his shirt. But this is the old diamond setting. The, the new one, the diamonds go on the little edges. What do you think, Audemars Piguet? I love Audemars Piguet. Normally, the, the black ceramic also nice. Which one? Where? Yes. Yes. I can't believe what I'm looking at in this little shop here. You have some from you in your collection? I have two. One you gave me. Yeah. And I have one other one. I have the um, Conquistador. Ah, rectangular. King. Yeah. Square. Square one. Yeah. Square. 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 And here also some. You can buy a bunch of them, right? You can, yeah. A lot of New York dealers, they come here, make some deals. But it really depends also uh, on the current situation. The exchange rate is good. Or right now, no if, Yeah, right now. But the dirham is linked to the US dollar. Are you buying them? What is your first impression? Yeah, what's the impression here? Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes in this store, sometimes you can make a real catch. Really? Really. Let's see. Of course, you are right, sir. this is Yuru? Yeah, from 2024. It's doing things. Okay. And today's partner of the video is <laughs> this special. <laughs> It's so good to see you. I'm so happy to be here in who knows where, and it's very hot. Hello, hello. It's so I don't need to do to anything right now so anymore. Happy to be here in who knows where, and it's very hot. <laughs> so now you, you, you know who the, the man is. You do all your Instagram stories by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's why my dog talks. <laughs> I promise you. You never made a story it. like this. You know, he did a he did a story. Tell me how you how you like it. 
Eso. Thank you. For Michael, it's the first time in Dubai Mall. And, uh, and I saw a pig. Is it, is it, what is it? A <laughs> pig. It's a leopard. It's a leopard. Erase. It's a leopard. <laughs> but look, look. This this looks like a pig, right? I'm tired. Since day one of YouTube, let's say, Jacob and Co was always a part of yours. Right now, we are also here in the boutiques. Maybe you recognize it. In the they just renewed it. What is the story behind you and Jacob? How did you first get to know him? I was a customer in New York. I walked in, uh, I saw a watch. It was actually an Epic X. Uh, it was in the window. That's really nice. So I went in and uh, this was maybe about six years ago, I think it was, mm -hmm. five or six years ago. And uh, I, I don't know how it came about, but the, the person that was uh, attending to me said, uh, Jacob, here, would you like to meet him? I think I asked about diamonds as well. Mm -hmm. And then Jacob came down from upstairs and uh, we said hi, and we just hit it off. And we became really good friends and I became a good customer. Yeah. And the rest is history. So Yeah, I mean, uh, if you if you if you just take the recent past, we all have to acknowledge the things what Jacob accomplished are huge. Massive. No, no one, and especially in the watch market, uh, you guys probably know, it's a very traditional market. No one is really allowed to enter in. Someone new has a very difficult time, and Jacob expanded his business and has now boutiques all over the world. All over the world. All over the world. And uh, is constantly putting up new models which are visually completely different than everything which is existing. And he's also won multiple awards for innovations. He does things that no other watchmaker has ever done. Uh, I personally love the design. I mean, this, this watch, I'm a watch collector, but I find myself with this on my wrist more than anything. I love it. And also the plain one, the producer Michael Epic X. Yeah. You know, we just saw one. They have it here also. Yes. In, in the boutique. And uh, yeah. What, what was this? I mean, did you ask for a limited edition? How, how did you create it? How? We we just did a collaboration. It just yeah. it just happened. Um, and, and I thought, my gosh, my name on a, on a watch, it, Jacob and Co. What? Yeah. It's like crazy. No, I didn't expect it. So I said, uh, yeah, let's do it. And then we we designed it together. But there's also some kind of mystery behind Jacob. I think this is also the success uh, of the YouTube videos. Always when you do one, it's... Uh, millions of yeah, views. Yeah, millions of views. And the people just interested also in his character. He's you know? a wonderful man. And He's he, a wonderful man. The way how he talks and it's always... With you, it's always a little bit funny with the glove and... Stuff. I know. <laughs> I, I, I know, it's very interesting, yeah. right? So you are going to shoot also one video here? Yes, uh, with Jacob. With He's Jacob. flying in especially to do the video. And then uh, the people can expect some a lot of watches, probably? A lot of watches, and I think there's some new ones that nobody's seen before, which oh. we'll be showing. Have you seen the new uh, Bugatti uh, Tourbillon, the new watch? I've worn it. In your video, you're right. Yes. You have seen it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you have seen it. Great. It's amazing. Yeah, so we will look forward. If you want to see it, go to his channel. It won't be probably online yet, but you can subscribe and that way you don't miss anything. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> so the day almost passed and we are now here with Michael taking the last pictures then. Yes, of course. Yeah, there's a big, <laughs> tall building. Yeah. We need to make it. Look, can you get the whole building in? Yeah, wait, one more. Check if you like. And it's also wide angle. Oh, how did you do the wide angle? On 0.5. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Yeah. How do you like Dubai so far? I love it. I think it's amazing. Oh my God, there's a camera. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's amazing. It's ridiculously hot. Like, don't you feel like you're in a shower right now? It's quite hot, but it's compared to Vegas, yeah. Similar. This is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But if, if someone from the US sees this video, I mean, would you recommend them to come here? hundred percent. hundred percent. They'd be foolish not to. I mean, why do you see something like that? To put it into perspective, the Empire State Building would not even be, what, half of that? Yeah. Well, less than half, right? Wow. Watch out for low traffic, low flying traffic airplanes, yeah. right? 
You know, one thing about Michael, I told him this, he is more German than the most Germans. If I do everything by the book. Yeah, if, if, for example, Michael says he will do something, either Michael will die or it will happen, but no other way. It's, it, for example, I will, never, I will never forget, we had one thing with insurance, okay? I don't know, we were just talking about insurance. And then he said, okay, I can call him, you, I can give you insurance. He said, no, it's fine, it's fine. No, I call him now. Bye. And he, he hang up the phone, called me two minutes back. Okay, here, this is the person you need to call. I, I did it already. Oh, with the foam. You remember the, the, when I hit the door? He got me covered. Directly sends me the right product to fix it. Amazing. Well, you have to do what but, you have to do. But you developed this? skill or you had it always i always had it oh my my upbringing my father told me to always do everything immediately do it properly don't cut corners but you know. honestly in the us especially nobody in, does it in la the the mentality did you didn't you struggle a lot because other other people are not reliable at all and then you so, so i've never been late for a meeting ever if i'm late i'm dead so i, I always try to get there 15, 20 minutes early out of respect for the other person and I hope that they're there too and if they don't show up and they're 10 minutes late I go yeah so but but yeah. what uh, what is about let's say you do business in LA yes and then I mean it is different the people so it's will... frustrating sometimes because people it's a, I, I don't know it, it's just different it's different they don't value time the same way as I do and the same thing with you you're always punctual you always do what you say you're gonna do and I think that's very very important not everybody thinks that way but I think it's also a big recipe for success 100%. you program yourself you manage your time time management is everything and even when you set yourself a goal if you don't have a timeline it's a dream because there's no point in achieving nothing right yeah. you, you have to set yourself a timeline so you know I, I try and live by that rule most people they start a lot of projects but never finish it or they give up or they give up they, yeah. they give up they find a challenge something's hard instead of working through it you know you if something's not working right you look to find out why it's not working right and change it rather than give up what was the most frustrating project you had oh i've had quite a few trying to get certain deals done with people and they, they put up barriers so you have to think okay put yourself in their shoes why are they doing this they want to do a deal how can we make a compromise where it works for both people and sometimes you have to give more than you want to give and so does the person you're doing business with and if they're not prepared to then it's the wrong person you know you're dealing with the wrong person yes there has to be mutual respect and both From people both have to give a little and, and take a little you know we are now filming for Michael's channel this is the building for the diamond exchange here in Dubai and 80% of all rough diamonds they said goes through here quite interesting we will show you some pictures and the full video will be then on his channel and today we didn't show you even adam is also here with us how was your trip yesterday oh amazing the desert. amazing yeah really the good. last time you have been to dubai was 2009 or 2010. he befriended a camel yesterday i did she was very sweet <laughs> yeah she was very sweet yeah i'll send you the picture okay yeah yeah but no everything's changed i mean the... this would be my question if, if something changed since the last time when i landed at the airport last time there was probably 15 20 minutes of the drive which is just the desert yeah. this time you land and it's buildings as soon as you get out and just one question now because diamonds i know you wear diamonds right but you would you wear diamonds that's the only diamond i have oh right look at this <laughs> okay don't look too close <laughs> but yeah no I, I i've never worn a diamond but i'm not saying i never would maybe today is the day maybe are you buying this is here <laughs> we'll see <laughs> the rough i've never seen a rough diamond i think have you seen one <laughs> no there's always a tricky part, let's say, uh, a lot of misconceptions, you know, rough diamonds, uh, they also can be involved in conflicts. Let's see what about the certificates and all of this uh, will matter a year inside, let's see.
We are almost at the end of our journey. Our next stop is, um, they are showing us the way how rough diamonds are treated. There is a, a special ruling to prevent um, conflict diamonds and this are we going to check out. This is one of the most important parts. We all saw the nice things and we all enjoy diamonds, but of course we, everyone needs to make sure that it doesn't support any kind of war or uh, child labor. And this is the most part I'm interested in. Yeah, we saw some amazing big diamonds, also very interesting. But our next stop will be the way how, let's say, from Africa the diamond comes here and what kind of caution project, protocol they are following. And this we will show you in a second. So a really important part of today's experience, I mean, we're going to go look at rough diamonds and there's a lot of controversy about them. And, and I know uh, that, that you are part of this organization. In fact, why do I talk? Please tell us what the Kimberley process is and what you do to ensure that uh, diamonds are from the best sources and there's, there's none of this crazy stuff that people perceive. So in the 1990s, there were various wars going on in Africa where diamonds, which are a very condensed form of wealth, were being used to fund those horrible civil wars. And 85 countries got together and created the Kimberley process, which is now in its 21st year. The UAE is chair of the Kimberley process this year, and we, the DMCC operates the Kimberley process on behalf of the Ministry of Economy of the United Arab Emirates. And it means that um, all the diamonds which are being traded and transported across international boundaries come with a certificate to ensure that the countries where they got mined can benefit from the revenue. So in the 1990s there were terrible wars, now the revenue from diamonds in Africa is being used for development and is being positively used. And so I, I know, sorry to interrupt you, but I know, you know a lot of people perceive that the way that diamonds are extracted, uh, it's a horrible process and dangerous and there's children involved. That's not true, is it? Not anymore. Um, used to be. It used to, it used to be the case. Um, and one of the things that the Kimberley process is looking to do is to try and install proper standards across the mining countries, across all the trading companies, so that you can be sure that the diamond that you enjoy is actually benefiting Africa to develop. And they're using that revenue to build roads, to build schools, to build hospitals, um, all the way across. So there's a lot of economic benefit that is happening. The Kimberley process has successfully stopped smuggling of diamonds. Really? Yeah. So now the African producers can collect taxation and the royalties from their diamonds and use that to develop and to grow their economies. I heard it, it funds schools and hospitals and welfare. In producer countries, in Botswana, in Namibia, in South Africa, it has been using Congo and Angola, it has been used positively to actually enrich the population and develop um, as, they, as they strive to develop. Thank you for explaining that. I mean, I think it's very important for people to know that this conflict diamond stuff, I think it was movies, Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. um, started the blood diamond thing. It is not the case. And by buying diamonds, you're actually supporting those economies and the people that work in the industry, right? Absolutely. We are often in Africa and uh, we also just got invited to, to a mine. I think it would be very interesting to see how the process at, at the end is. I, I know that Trex NYC Max, he visited the country. For us Europeans, it's always kind of difficult to believe. At the end, there always will be the trade of diamonds and it will always come from these countries. What we can just do is take a look at it and see who we deal with. So I think for the future, at least for me, it would be uh, we, should, we should go to Africa and see how the people are working there. For me this would be quite interesting and I know we got an invitation. Let's see if Michael wants to, wants to join there. It's a very controversial part and step by step, I mean, they are now in the 21st year. So I think it's a good thing. Don't believe a word he says, what are you talking about? <laughs> the Kimberley process. He's talking about the Kimberley process. I'm believe sorry, it all. <laughs> okay, we are right now here with our friend Rajab. Uh, you probably will recognize this. You're excited? I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> this will be another experience. We showed Michael... Wait, 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 I'm very excited. Yeah, we showed Michael before uh, some very intense and old oud, but here we, uh, we are really at the, 
at the base we have uh, some really special pieces which are quite expensive we have over in this room will be over way over two three hundred thousand uh, dollar in in wood we just try to show you some fragrances i'm just a little scared because when i was with you and you showed me some food I still smell it from a month ago. <laughs> and that's why I, I brought some other fragrances we are going to start with. So they will be just, let's see where your line is, okay? okay. We will start and then let's see. Do you have the cocoa beans? <laughs> the, 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 here it works different, you just need to go through, okay. okay? But this also will be in his video, so we will try to show you some pieces, but if you want to see it, subscribe to his channel. Please. <laughs> okay. I have a problem. Yeah. You gave me a bottle that looks like that. But it doesn't smell like that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Get this face. I'm so I'm I'm it's just, it's so hot in here. Adam, what do you say? No thanks. No? No. 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 This is that uh, is oh, terrible. Right now we are here at our next location and we need to choose which uh, spot we are shooting the video. It's about layering and here we are, uh, here we are at, the, at the one and only. This one just recently opened and we are here right now 300 meters above the ground and we are really close to um, the museum of... Uh, what was the museum nochmal? Future Museum. Future Museum. So let's take a look out here. A, a, a stunning view and if you uh, enter and uh, you go from the airport to the center of the city you will probably pass this building and what it makes it so unique it has a vertical line and inside of this vertical element there are 10 restaurants right mm -hmm. stunning here you have the restroom let's take a look from the side how much is this one the price yeah asking price it's uh, those are between six to seven million euros six to seven million yeah so look what a nice flat if you want to get the uh, mm -hmm. If you want to get some room for yourself, I mean, this, How one, is this? this one is a 1.8 million dollars. And how big is it? It's uh, 860 square foot. What do you think? Nice, mate. Very nice. It's expensive. It's for expensive, size, right? Yeah, for the size, but. It's but very nice. Very but nice. The view. One, one and only is uh, the brand to get. Amazing view. I like this. This is very nice. nice. Wow. Wow. How much is this place? Wow, uh, for sale. Spectacular. Uh, they're around 10 to 11 million dirham, which is a bit more than 3 million dollars. Wow. Amazing, huh? Is this the World Trade Center? No. Yeah. Ah, this, this, is the yeah. this was the first skyscraper ever yeah. built in the UAE. Yes. No the way. World Trade, this was the first, first. In the 70s or end of the 60s? Yeah, yeah, correct. So you see the old pictures, oh. there is nothing here except this building. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, the Queen. Uh, queen a little bit second here. Oh, okay. the hotel and imagine the rest just oh, having one. There, so and where? if you come here, you can always stay here in your room. This would be it, huh? Imagine just, imagine just having it. And if you come here, you can stay here. You could even, you know, you can see more people. Always, because you come here, this is your base. You can film everything. You can stream here. You can film here. Well, I don't think you can anymore. You can stay. I am, because, <laughs> because, really? uh, I think the other one, which are more easy to layer, and there are some which are quite hard because they are strong in itself, especially yours. No. 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 Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 that's awful. Okay. It went from Stick bad to watch it went from <laughs> bad to worse. Stick to watch it. Okay. <laughs> Here we are now at the vertical structure between the two towers. I mean, you can see, here's the one tower and it's connected by this vertical line. And here's the other one. Very interesting. Uh, horizontal line, sorry, horizontal line, not vertical. What I'm talking about, it's already late. Uh, yeah, interesting, very nice, I like it. And then you can switch to this one. You can't even feel it, right? Don't jump. But isn't it wild? wild. Say hello, Mark. <laughs> Stunning view, huh? Yesterday we have been to the um, Atlant Atlantis yeah, Cloud, but the, this one uh, okay. sees, looks better. Really, the, the view is much more stunning.
And here we are on our next date. It's late today. We are now going to Burj Al Arab. Michael is already there. They have started shooting, so we need to join the video. We need to just join their video. <laughs> and it's about some diamonds from a brand. I don't know the brand, but it's from a from a particular brand. And then we go to the Dubai Mall, and Michael is going to record a video in the Dubai Mall. We will just film a site, and he has all the permits. This is a very big accomplishment. What else do we have? Uh, I think some shoot with uh, Jacob and Co. Maybe also today. I don't know, but we try to just having a good time, um, and that's pretty much the plan. And my sister also joined us. Yeah, we need to move <laughs> also to a different hotel now. Uh, this is the, the the next part what we need to do. It's nice that you called when I just booked everything new. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like this. Excuse me, I'm very good. We have been very good. Is this a work trip or an Urlaub? This is here gerade. Also, it's eher so ein Urlaubsding, glaube ich. Ja, nach Urlaub aus. Er scheint begeistert zu sein. Here. Yes. No, really. You see how it's down? You see how it's open? Yeah. Don't smiling. Just one second. Yes. You see here? You see there even? It's showing. This is not showing. It was aggressive. I, I, I couldn't even do anything. She she was so quick. It was the ladies. Huh? They just took me. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> this this girls you need to hire. Yes. For the shop. You feel better now? You, you know, I, my, my face feel, feels like imbalanced. <laughs> one, this, this one, I cannot move. Uh, this one feels like stuck. Honestly, it's like in here, I feel like stuck. Look at <laughs> Also treat the other one. <laughs> it feels now like, like this. <laughs> I think they try to scam me. Yeah. Look, my eye, my sister just said, uh, yeah, and it feels like sand. Yeah. It's like sand. <laughs> oh my god. It's yeah. So don't don't get this cream. Don't get this cream. We are here now on our first day in Atlantis. We switched the hotel because Michael is here and it will be more easier for all of us. And uh, there are some updates. Uh, we got a lot of comments regarding our uh, brand, which we have with Sasha Hellinger, a collaboration for our brand Botta Bottega. Our first product was the mouthwash. This one was sold out very quickly and we couldn't get behind it. But I wanted to change a little bit and we had now someone from Germany. Let's say we have two prototypes right now here. I tested the first one. The issue is we increased the charcoal in here here but you see the problem is when you just uh, use it the bubbles are just too much so you even feel a sandy texture in here is also collagen it's a special mixture they did it for us I kind of liked it but the problem is I mean we can try it out live on camera mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see the issue It is very unique in the way how it feels and the charcoal is the maximum you are allowed to put in. But these bubbles, I don't know, it's very comfortable. So we are working on it. This would be the alternative. Um, here also we have the collagen mixture, but I wanted to have the charcoal inside. That's the issue. We are working on it. I know you like it. We will also get the towels for the brand and we are working also on a, on a room scent or, or a fragrance. But first off, we want to finalize the mouthwash. So yeah, just be a little bit more patient and we will soon release the second batch of this product. What are we going to do today? Today, uh, <laughs> today we are going to go to First Motors with Michael. He has an appointment with them. We are looking at uh, some supercars. And later on, we are going to meet the owner of Vidyan. We will start with the beautiful fragrance brand Vidyan. And I'm really excited to meet him. It probably won't be on camera, but I just want to update you guys. And these are the news for today. Tomorrow we are going to the Oman. And then we will shoot the video with Amwa and another brand. We are right now here with W Cars and they provide cars 
for the Dubai police as well as for their SWAT team. They built everything here. Full video will be on Michael's channel. The interesting thing is they even have a car made for Fast and the Furious. This is the demo car. That's why when you go closer, you will see that there are some missing parts, but this was made for the movie. And their doors, maybe we can show you that this, they open, their suicide doors, but they open also, they go up and yeah supercar made in the UAE but what really fascinating are these cars because everything is special requirement for the Dubai police so all the cars are specifically made for their journey and um, the SWAT car for example everything is carbon fiber what you see and it's painted in matte you cannot imagine but it is like this everything is carbon and it's painted carbon and then you have uh, special records to put uh, your your heavy machinery and uh, yeah, very interesting. What, Adam, what, what about, what is your, what, what, what do you say for to W cars? What do you say here? They're very cool. I like the concept behind them. They took what is essentially the strongest vehicle out here, the Nissan Patrol. Nissan Patrol, yeah. This, everyone, everyone who is really wealthy from the UAE drives Nissan Patrol. Right, right. Yeah. They just build out from it. Like you said, full carbon fiber. Everything is bespoke to the Dubai Police Department. And how, how, how is it? I mean, painted carbon fiber, you know? I know. The, the it's, concept, it's, yeah, it, yeah. It, you want to keep it exposed, but <laughs> yeah. you know what would be really cool? Have you ever heard of Vanta Black? Yeah like the world's it's blackest pet, paint. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to do like yeah. one of these and that? Yeah, they're, they're awesome. I, I just, just what I don't understand is for a SWAT team, mm -hmm. normally better not to write SWAT on it. That's the only yeah, thing. Yeah, like low profile, <laughs> yeah, right, right? Yeah. yeah. And they have a special tear gas chamber where then you can release this. Yeah. This I like. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the back is all full of like the cabinets for all of their gear. There's even little cutouts for their hand grenades. Hand grenades? Yeah. Hand grenades. Did you throw a hand grenade? I've never thrown a hand grenade. Keine hand grenade bis jetzt geschmissen. Yeah, bitte. There is your hand grenade storage. Look, you can kind of see the carbon mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's got lacquer over it. But this is funny that they keep the, the, the shiny, vents, yeah. shiny carbon here. Here, you see, you see? Uh, I think I've seen these before. Um, AliExpress. because we launched it at the uh, National Day of UAE where it established in 1972. Okay. So it's like celebrating your, your authenticity, your, your, your origin, but at the same time without pushing it in people's throats. We created really nice art. If you understand it, it's good. If you don't, you say, oh, nice. It looks well, nice. Yeah. So that was the idea. And even for the other collections, for example, Granada is our latest launch from this collection. And it's a skin fragrance, but for men. I wanted to create something really classic, old, yet modern. I put some benchmarks, like CH for men, the old one, the spicy one, uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, you know, this, this collection, but at the same time, it's modernized, but with Vivian's touch, with the Oriental touch. Okay. On the blotter, it's so different from the sky. Yeah, that's right. So, I hope. Nice. Mm, okay. It's, it starts as minty fresh, mm -hmm. and then it dries down to the spiciness. And the spiciness you feel, yeah. Yes. If you spray it on the blotter, you will 
have the minty uh, more. more. Okay. But on the skin, you will immediately get to the spices, and uh, which is like the DNA of this place. It's a trial. Until now, we had two different feedbacks. Some people they really loved it. Some people they say mm, it's not ours. Yeah. Unlike New York and London, like New York and London, it's it's like straightforward. Here in the packaging, each packaging it tells the story of the fragrance and it's very silent way it's like if you know you know it yeah so this is Delma Delma is a small island in Abu Dhabi it's inhabited by 3,000 people people in the past where they used to go for pearl diving they used to come back to this island to get fresh water rest get food and go back again okay. because the pearl diving lasts for three months okay so we call it Delma. Only three months you can collect pearls? Yes, that's the season. Ah, really? Otherwise the sea is going to be you know, wavy. And oh, okay, I didn't know that. So they go for a really long time mm -hmm. and then they come back. So you can see here like the pearls, the shells, uh, Delma, because we picked all these, uh, the, the names to be very easy to be pronounced as well. Delma, yeah. Yeah, so, and you can uh, memorize it like Healy, Liwa, yeah. but each name has a story. Until today, we're not really good at telling these treasure stories. So, we're hiring now someone only dedicated yeah. for the training, telling the correct stories to the world. And if you look at the packaging, each three pieces they complete the reassemble yeah. the artwork. So, as a display. If you have three pieces, you will have, you know, the, the full. full. For all full. of them, like for example, this is also Sahara. For example, this one is Sahara. <laughs> okay. Same thing. So on the shelf, even if you don't if have you, a display, you can us, decorate nice with the. Exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. And you put the bottle. For London, the same thing. New York. Great. All of them. Yeah. We are here in the Oman at the beautiful place of Amouage. We the first spray, you feel that it has an Arabic twist to it. Do we use a mix of natural and synthetic ingredients? You can see search was here. Search here, yeah. So relatively 